first day of Christmas, Matrula gave to me partridge in a pear tree. Oh, Carol, that's just beautiful. Can't nobody decorate a Christmas shoe tree like you, sister. Well, Mama's always said I have a touch when it comes to decorating of any kind. I just can't help it. But I'm thinking we need some turquoise converses to go run around there, though. You know, turquoise is the end Christmas color this year. I didn't know that, but I do know we had a bunch of youngins coming back today from the Douglas Fir Elementary School. They came to take a tour of the farm and drop off some shoe donations. Maybe there'll be a couple of those turquoise colored ones in the bunch. One can only hope. You, what about peacock feathers? You think peacock feathers would make it really pop? You know, peacocks are so in Christmas this year. They're the new turtle doves. <laughs> Sounds good to me, sister. But you're the expert, not me. Have you seen Todd run around here this morning? Yes, and running was exactly what he was doing. You know, he just gets so excited and we start getting everything set up for Christmas. Flying around here like a chicken with its head cut off and talking 90 to nothing. Well, he almost knocked my tree over. Then he would have really been running from me. <laughs> oh, Carol, he can't help himself. I love it, though. He's always had the heart of a child when it comes to Christmas. Yeah, whatever. On the second day of Christmas, Matrula gave to me two turquoise peacocks. Carol! We just got a huge drop off of shoes. Twelve baskets full, just like the disciples had. Maybe we'll even get enough for 5,000 folks this year. These will be the ones we can add to next year. Maybe so, Todd. If it's only the first day of the season. They keep coming in like this. We're going to be a shoe in to win the award for the business with the most donations. Now, Todd, you know that's not why we collect shoes for folks at Christmas, whether we get 5,000 pairs or just one. It's all about making a difference in somebody's life. Showing them love by taking care of a basic need, having a good pair of shoes. I know, but the Chamber of Commerce gives away that big trophy and all. We might as well win it as soon as anybody else does. Now, Todd. All right, Yule. It's kind of neat you mention that story from the Bible, though. You know, Jesus was preaching to all those folks and realized they were getting powerful and hungry. So he fed them. He shared the truth with them. I never thought about it before, but that's kind of what we do with the shoes every year. We use shoes to help folks and show we care about them. And while they're here, we can tell them about Jesus. You all, that's exactly right. I may have a way with decorating, but you're just so elephant with your words. <laughs> Carol, I'm going to run and get the rest of the baskets for you. Todd, you knocked my tree over and I'm going to knock you. <laughs>
starting our tour shortly. Well, hello there. You must be Principal Poinsettia. I am. Welcome to Yule, Todd, and Carol's Christmas Shoe Tree Farm. I'm Yule. Over there's my brother Todd and my sister Carol. We're just so happy to have y'all visiting with us today. Oh, we are delighted to be here, Yule. And I just love the name of your place. What clever social media marketing for Christmas. I can't wait to check in here on Facebook. Well, you don't have to check in here. We don't fancy like that. But we do have a guest book you can sign. And if you want to put a picture of your face in it, that's just fine with me. <laughs> um, okay. Well, I'd like to introduce you to the students I brought today. They're part of an extracurricular group at Douglas Fir Elementary School called Secret Service. They try to come up with different service projects to do around the school. Sort of random acts of kindness, if you will. The most beautiful part is they never tell anyone who does the work. They keep it all a secret, on the down low, as the students might say. Well, ain't that just awesome? I tell you what, we got a few service projects around here they can help out with, and I ain't keeping that a secret. <laughs> ha ha, Mr. Yule, you are such a stitch. As they sit on the phone, I wanted to bring this group out to see firsthand how a business like yours can truly impact on the community with a project like your shoe tree. I think it ties with our group's mission perfectly, since the people who receive the shoes never know who brought them here to give away. Well, bless my brickle britches, you just made my day. I'll go ahead and take you on the tour, then you're glad to stick around as long as you'd like. Perfect, Yule. Thank you so much. Students, listen up. Carol, I'm about to take this group of youngs on a tour of the farm. You got things under control? Sure thing. Have fun. So then Holly told Candy that Ginger told Angel that Mary was not going to come to Nature Be Grace to spend the night party because Ivy totally forgot to tell her when Hope invited them to go to the movie last week. Um, uh, are y'all girls from that group from Douglas Fir Elementary School? Yes, ma'am, we are. Um, where are they? Well, they just left to go. Oh, Christmas tree, Joe, yeah, we're lost. They left us here all by yourself. What are we going to do? I've got to text Polly and tell her about this. Does your phone have GPS? Celeste, we're not out in the woods. We're at a Christmas tree farm. And I can totally see our group walking up that path over there. Yeah, no worries, girls. I was just about to say they're taking a little tour of the farm with my brother. Carol of the Bells, thank goodness. Hey, how'd you know my name? You know, most folks call me Christmas Carol, you know, because I just love seeing Christmas carols. But I kind of like the ring of Carol of the Bells, too. You know, like, ring the bells. <laughs> I got it, and I ain't even trying to get it. <laughs> Um, so where are we going? <laughs> Celeste, whatever, Space Cadet, we're at Yule Todd and Car Carol's Christmas Shoe Tree Farm. Yeah, and I'm Carol, and Yule and Todd are my brothers. It's part of a Christmas project we're doing for Secret Service. Shh, silent night, Jill, it's a secret. Hello. <laughs> I may not know where we are, but I know we're not supposed to tell anyone what we're doing. Silver bells. Can you please remind me why we are best friends? Oh, jingle, 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 that totally hurts my feelings. Oh, um, well, why don't y'all girls work this out while trying to catch up with the group? I don't want y'all getting in trouble or nothing. Let me holler at you all. You, you got some stragglers here. I'm sending them your way. Thanks, Miss Christmas Carol. Hey, you guys, where have you been? Principal and Seti has sent me here to get you. Come on. So, anyway, when Hope got home from the movie, she called Noelle, and Noelle told her that Nativity Grace didn't know what Holly was talking about. I know, right? <laughs> Decorate your tray with shoes. Fa la 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 la. I'll listen to you, Christmas Carol. Pretty as a partridge singing in a pear tree. Guess what? We just got a call from Action News 5, and they're coming out to do an interest story on the tree farm. So I gotta get ready. For what? You don't ever get ready for anything. Well, if that purdy newscaster, Sylvia Bell, is coming out to do an interview on me, I gotta put on the dog. When she gets slow to me, she might be singing a Christmas carol herself. All I want for Christmas is a date with Todd. <laughs> Have mercy, boy. Well, while you're out putting on the dog, why don't you turn on the radio? Then we'll have Christmas music, and it'll be all festive when she gets here. Sure thing.
While y'all get while y'all are getting set up, I'll go try to find the owner. Rudy, Mark, where is my trailer? Sylvia, I wasn't thinking you would need the trailer since we're only three blocks from the station. Plus the fact that you spent two hours getting ready before we left. But Rudy, you don't understand. Being in the public eye every day is so demanding on one's appearance. And I need protection from these harsh winter elements. My hair, it is already going flat. And my lips are getting chapped. I can't work under these conditions. Okay, Sylvia, I'll see what I can do. Well, hello there. What can I do for you? Hello, sir. I'm Rudy Rains with Action News 5, and this is Mark Mary, the producer. We're here to do a human interest story on your Christmas tree shoe drive. Well, good to meet you, Rudy, and you too, Mark. But what we actually do here is a Christmas shoe tree drive. My name is Yule Loggins, and my sister Carol is in charge of the shoe tree, and she can get a little testy when people don't get it right. Okay, thanks for the heads up. I'll keep that in mind. We're just tickled pink, or should I say red and green, that y'all want to put us on TV. The pleasure is ours, Yule. Let me introduce you to our correspondent, Sylvia Bell. Oh, I know who she is. We watch your new show every night. Sylvia, this is Mr. Yule Loggins. Mr. Loggins, I'm overjoyed to make your acquaintance and overwhelmed to bring the story of your Christmas shoe drive to the masses. <laughs> well, that's just great, Miss Bell, but we don't give away molasses. Just shoes. Hmm. But I come to think of it, that might not be a bad idea. Shoes and molasses. Bet nobody's done that before. Heaven's the Betsy, brother. What on earth? This is just a little something I call styling and profiling. I, w I want to look my best for little Miss S Sylvia Bells. This is my brother Todd, I think. Todd, oh. this is Mr. Rudy Rains, Mr. Mark Mary, and Miss Sylvia Bells. Well, lots camera action. I'm ready to roll them. I'm sure obliged to meet y'all. Miss Bells, we watch your new show every night. So I've heard. Rudy? Lori and I are going to the van until you're ready to start filming. I need to refresh. <laughs> Great. We'll be ready in a few minutes. I need to get some information about this project, how it got started, how, how long it's been going, how many shoes you normally give away each year, etc. Well, I was just about to tell the kids all about that. I, I can tell you how it all got started. I don't like to brag.